Hi guys, it's what are we today? Wednesday morning. What the hell is this? We got poker chip. Hmm. Well, dependent for a dog tag. Something else in the plug too, I think. Well, maybe not. Wang like silver. Hmm. That was it. Interesting. I'll double check the hole. Hmm, what was it? Weird. Hey guys, I think I might have got my first largey. Was a good signal. Looks like a largey. Pretty thick. Let's take a look at this one, guys. A little treat. Usually it's zipper bound. Yeah, it's a largey. Let's see who it is. I'll go for the face because I can't read the date. Hmm. The face is going to be it's in good shape. Just I'm blind. King George V. Sweet. First large of the year. Oh, I'm on the board and it rang good and it was what's this nine inch? Maybe a good inch over that. Ten inch. It was ringing pretty good. Thought it would have been a penny. That's a good sign. Okay. I'm happy. Woohoo guys. I'm excited. Un hey guys, I don't want to get your hopes up, but it looks like silver. Pretty shallow. That's why I'm not positive. I don't know, unless it's a 66 and up. It's a, sorry Liz, but it's an old Elizabeth. Oh, that might explain it. Piece of garbage, piece of foil, my favorite. He's there. Hmm. So, an old Elizabeth on a piece of foil. Oh well. Could have been worse. Could have been only foil. Okay, guys. On to the next. Okay, guys. I'm to get happy here. I think it's another largey. Not that deep. Let's see what we got. See at least largies I can see. Okay. Looks like a nineteen nineteen. It's a, not as in good shape as the other one, I think. And it's got like chicken pox on it. Pretty sure it's a King George the Fifth. That worked. Okay guys. On to
Hey guys, Michael here from the Canadian Relic Hunters. Uh, this was a good weekend, not silver wise, but we'll see why in a moment. Okay, let's start with earlier this week. I think this was Monday. I'm pretty sure it was Monday. I went uh, not in the silver field, but in the little town beside it where I've been already with my. Uh, backup machine and kind of figured there wasn't anything old for some reason compared to the other where I get all the silver so let's start with this this one was uh, with the backup machine as you can see it loves clad compared to the e-track which is fine with me that way I get the best of both worlds right there so interesting finds anyway my pennies was at 19 pennies. Two memorial. <clears throat> I did get three young Elizabeth. Not sure how old they are. I see, I forgot my glasses. 64. Can't even see. I should check as the 55 are a key date. Looks like. Yeah, anyway, that's, uh, I think it's the 63. But the interesting thing I dug there was, it's not that old. It's like a championship medal for, I'd say, slow pitch. I'll get the loop so you can see better. See, you see the slow pitch? mats on the ground the guys swinging and the catcher in the back can't be that old since it's slow pitch but old enough it'd be at least 40 years old probably so that's cool somebody actually won that so it's as good as fake jewelry to me plus it's my first baseball medal so that's a keeper for sure. Then yesterday, Saturday, I went back at the silver, silver field where I found pretty much all this silver and figuring there's old silver in there as you've seen with all the fish scale and stuff. So I figured there must be some uh, large scent or largies in there it's gotta be because all the silver so i looked in the book that james gave me with the machine and memorized a few numbers so uh, i might have hunt this was uh, just over an hour not much six coins garbage wise i was cherry picking while well, picking my numbers i dug maybe four holes of garbage but then near the end I dug uh, this one. Well, first let's start, I'm all excited. I got largies for the first time this year. These are dimes, clad dimes. Nothing special, one's at 79, one's at 1980 something. Two pennies. It's funny though, everything's old. A King George, the six, a young Elizabeth. They're in rough shape though. But then I got my uh, nice largey. I don't know if you can see. I'll, I'm sure I'll have a picture up in the video. Oh, I'm going to stab myself with that thing. I don't know if you can see. 1916 George V. King George. Pretty good shape that one. Then maybe you know two three holes after I dug this one. Let's see if it's upside down. Nineteen nineteen, but you see the crud on it. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna be there permanently. Know what they're using in that field, but. I was actually impressed with this one, how good a shape it was. 
So I got two largies, the first largies of the year. So guess where I'm going next time? I'm going right back there. I'm going to try to find some more largies. So yeah, that's it for this weekend. I haven't gone fishing. I might go after supper today. It's Sunday. It's nice and sunny out. So that should be good. Say hello to my buddy there in Ottawa. Hey, Steph, no Chris. We're gonna go play some golf. Hey, I'm excited. Call me and let me know if it's uh, for sure or what. If it's Saturday, I need to go s practice my arm and swing a few balls. So anyway, guys, this is it. I got rid of my silver, put it in my box. No pull tabs this weekend. I was telling my father why I dig pull tabs. I was wondering why would I dig pull tabs, but that's where the gold is. So okay, it will be just a short video this week. And if I go fish to have to work, I'll bring the GoPro. Maybe catch a shark or something. So okay guys, have yourself a great week. And I'll say, see you again next weekend, unless I uh, get into something really exciting. I may, might uh, make a week video. So, see you then. Bye for now.